All right. Precision Opinions Live with Christian Stella. And today I'm here with today's guest, Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee um, practices in Forest Hills, right. works at um, 108-1072nd Ave in Forest Hills. And um, he is a cardiologist, board certified um, in functional medicine, I yeah. believe. Um, yes. And um, acupuncture as well. Mm-hmm. But um, Dr. Dr. William Lee is here today to speak about um, something that he uses in his practice, low-dose naltrexone. Right. Correct? Yes. All right, good. So um, I just want to get... We're gonna we're gonna go into low dose naltrexone, kind of broad range. Talk a little right, bit about it. Right. Um, get an idea for what you use it, what you use it in your practice as well. So let's dive into how low dose naltrexone works. Okay, well, you could probably explain it better than I can, but from <laughs> my understanding is, um, well, naltrexone, as it's the uh, traditionally used for, is used as a opiate receptor agonist so um, it blocks the um, the stimulation of opiate receptors so therefore people can um, reverse the I guess the overdose of opioids however in low doses like um, like in doses around one and a half to four four and a half milligrams it seems to do um, it, it has a certain blocking effect but that blocking effect makes it so that the body can actually make its own endorphins so um, in my practice I use it for things that are kind of hard to treat like things like fibromyalgia um, chronic inflammatory conditions um, people with autoimmune conditions and there seems to be a very beneficial effect in um, regulating people's pain, um, getting people to sleep better, and um, over time, their use of the medications that are used to control uh, pain or their um, d- disease conditions can reduce over time. Perfect. Yeah, so, I mean, <clears throat> the way to look at it, low-dose naltrexone, mm-hmm. and looking at the drug, Right. The, the the mechanism and how the drug structures is it actually has two enantiomers. Mm. It has two chirality sides. And when you hit it on a levo side, it actually does the whole opioid thing. Right. When you hit it on the dextro side, it actually has to do with the TLR receptor and that's where right. it helps for pain. Right. So that's nice. So when you when you're using it on these patients and you're using it for pain, fibromyalgia, sleep, how long do you usually monitor them? Do you do you check them after follow up after about two weeks in that range and, and see how they're working with it? It depends on it depends on the patient. Usually, um, I usually titrate up slowly up to the four point five uh, milligrams. And however, some people you like the low titration. But I like the low titration, yes. <laughs> 0.5, very right, slow. Right, right. Actually, some people, 0.1, I start. 0.1, oh, yes. Right. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I recall that. But uh, I have paid some patients who are so sensitive that their their therapeutic dose is at like one milligram. Yeah. Right, yeah. so, um, and if they go higher, um, they tend to get a little bit more agitated and exactly. have um, some of the side effects that we talk about in low dose naltrexone. Exactly. And so what I do is I back them off and I, I make them try it again, you know, like maybe a couple of weeks down the road. And if they still have the same side effects or the agitation, I tell them maybe you've reached your therapeutic dose. Exactly. There you right. go. So. And p- patients usually get worried about their. They're like, "Oh, why am I not going to four point five? Right. But we're yeah. as long as we're slightly blocking that receptor, right. we're going to have endorphin release. Yeah, and that's what right. We're- and a lot of times, I feel like um, patients are pleasantly surprised because it's it's a very subtle change that they feel. So they're they're not going to feel a dramatic change in a short period of time. But maybe like a couple months from being on it, they'll say, Oh, you know what? I've been I don't feel as much pain anymore. And they tend to forget about that. Exactly. So um and then 
and then they realize other things are happening. Like, for example, yeah, I've been sleeping better. I've been, you know, doing those things, you know. And um, so they've been engaging in life better. And, and it's, it's been a very subtle shift over time so that it's, it seemed very natural to them that they've, they've always felt like that. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they, they forget. That's why it's good sometimes to give them a pain scale at the beginning, right, you right. know. Mm-hmm. You were at you were at a five, and now you're at right. a two. You know. Well, especially if some people have been struggling with fibromyalgia for years, and um, and some of them have actually kept journals of what their pain is like, and they've noticed that you know, and and it's not always a steady increase in uh, you know in their improvement, but there are like plateaus and there there may be even dips in their progress however overall their overall net gain is going to be in the positive direction Correct. and they can see that if they're journaling or have um kept records of their progress oh yeah yeah they got to do some homework yeah. give them some homework <laughs> <laughs> right right um so we were talking about agitation with the side effects have you, you seen anything else notice um, I know we see the sleep stuff. Too. What a lot, lot of vivid night dreams, nightmares sometimes, um, and usually if that happens, I'll tell them to take it during the day or okay. in the first thing in the morning when they get up. Yeah. But um, you know, like I think there's a there's a school of thought that it should be given right before bed, and if the if the vivid dreams or nightmares are too, I guess potent so that um, they inter- it actually interferes with their sleep, then we actually tell them to do it in, during the day. And I, I don't seem to see any difference in the efficacy, whether it's given during the day or at night. Yeah. Well, the idea is to give it at night is because the natural endorphin release right. is at bedtime. Mm. But if, if it has to do with compliance and the patient's going to use it right. every single day, you might as well give it to them in the morning, you know? Yeah. Which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, what about like any sort of contraindications or anything? Well, um, if somebody's on a narcotic, um, like a like they're being they're taking a narcotic to be scheduled for um, to be control pain or any scheduled substances, I don't usually prescribe it for that. Um, and so I think, uh, but it, other than that, I mean, I've I've prescribed, um, I've given LDN to. A lot of people like for example I had one patient recently um, who had herpes zoster outbreak and very intractable herpes zoster like for three months and didn't go away um, actually gave him LDN over and within within about two weeks um, the pain started to go away Wow right it's fa- it's fascinating yeah how cer- how the mechanism, right. how just a release of endorphins can right. make the body completely switch when right. it comes to right. pain. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing a lot of pain doctors that are pain specialists actually oh. switch over from right. writing narcotics every single day to trying naltrexone. Right. right. You know, because it, it's it's tough when it comes to pain. Definitely yes. tough. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, so some people describe it as a multi. It's like a multivitamin. You know? Right, right. They do describe it like things for autoimmune conditions. It just seems to give it give your immune system like a like a rest. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I want to thank you for coming on. Fantastic guest. Right. Um, Thanks for having me. And we'll put your information below on on the video so anyone could check you out. And um, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Hello, this is Christian Stella from Precision Opinions Live. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our social media links. You can reach us by email at compounding at precisionpharmacy.net or our phone number 516-785-4774 extension 2 for compounding thank you very much thanks for viewing